Hello Metal Stud Framers, this video I'm teaching you how to frame soffits with Metal Stud. That's coming right up, so stay tuned. Soffits, dude, soffits. Um, there's, um, I want you guys to, to be, to kind of be imagine, imaginative here, okay? In a sense that right now, this is inside the building, okay? And I'm, I, I'm angling out the perimeter. A lot of times with soffits, you might not even need to really laser this stuff, okay? Because uh, you're going to be following uh, like a structure, okay? And you're going to angle, um, you're going to angle your perimeter. Sorry, guys. So, um, but I, I do laser most of them, right? And I, and I do, and this was lasered in as well. This gives you an idea. Okay, because this is not very wide either. Okay, so it's it's smaller like a soffit and it's got the lesser clearance as well. Okay, um, and this is how it's done, right? You angle your perimeter and you're going to use hat track, right? For your, um, uh, for your, your studs or whatever, right? And this bracing bar runs from end to end, okay? And if, you're, and if your ceiling or soffit is bigger, you're going to run this like every four feet or whatnot okay however many uh the you know the job spec or whatever for but at least every four feet you know you're gonna run these uh other other furring bars or the hat channel uh, the um uh, the long way across right the other way okay because you're gonna screw every stud both sides into it and at the very end uh, hopefully you guys can see my mouse here and I'll zoom in on this at the end here you'll, you'll see a zoom in the very end you cut another little piece to offset the you know the um the distance for the angle because you want it screwed in end to end because it ties it all in right <clears throat> hey yeah donna general so uh in this case in in this case i'm obviously just uh screwing in using a like inch and a quarter drywall screws um and i'm just putting them in you know da -da 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 -da, or whatever every six inches okay do 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 on the angle but if, if you're doing um if you're if you're doing it on steel it's so you're just gonna shoot it on okay with the the hilti fasteners or some sort of direct fastening tool okay um if you're, it's on if you're gonna be into uh through q deck right q deck with concrete on it okay the there'll be you can shoot that on as well um if it's just empty q deck you can use the heavy gauge framing screws to uh fasten to the like the braces and stuff to the q deck um but yeah basically your whole perimeter gets angled out and see i just built this bulkhead and drywalled it before i did the ceiling off to the side here as well and bulkheads are um like this bulkheads are um also kind of like sometimes you need to build these details out and, a, and around and things like that for your you know your soffits become little you know there's little details out the front you know um and it can sometimes get uh interesting but simple soffit ceiling this is it okay this is it I'm sure I'll, I'll get lots of opportunity to show you guys all kinds of crazy stuff. If, if this this goes well, I'll be able to show you guys lots of cool framing stuff going forward. So yeah, you can see you just cut another piece of hat channel right there. You put it at the end, two screws, always two screws, uh, and then two screws in the in the uh, other piece, right? And always two screws in uh, in here. Why well, I, I always put one like I I stack like diagonal from each other, right? One here, one here, right? So it doesn't flip or whatever. This you could be almost hang off of by the time it's all done let's see what's up with this i don't know what i'm showing you guys here really <clears throat> but yeah these here too you want them to be not tight but not loose either right you should be cutting them like a quarter inch too short like shorter okay um the the more they are in the um in the angle the better the stronger it is going to be for reals um I'll draw the like the six centers out, okay? I'll draw all the centers out on both sides and I'll check, you know, measure the ends, the middle, whatnot. On some cases, it's gonna be different. You're gonna have different lengths, uh, especially here, because we're matching everything to the door and or to structure. So it, yeah, they're quite different from each other. There it is right there. You see completed with two screws on the right through the angle to the clip and then the clip to the to the bracing bar. <clears throat> right.
right? And it just runs end to end. And and for longer runs, okay, you, you overlap them, okay? Just overlap them. All right, so yeah. All right, I'm trying to get to the last part here is the, the bracing. Okay, here's the bracing. All right, so pause, pause. Okay, so at the top of the brace, it's going to be flat. Okay, I, I'll use I, we just hammer it down even flatter, but we on this one we just use our hands even. But okay, so these are two inch screws, and uh, I I always do that in double layer drywall. Uh, don't use inch and a quarter, right? And I put three, uh, one closer to the bend, right, and then two extra ones, and I angled them always angled, and that's just two inches. That's just a two inch uh, lip or shoe, right? That's what we call them. You can see here, right, where it's screwed uh, as well on both sides, right? And it's just a bent. It's on, an, it's on a bit of an angle there. You want to keep it tight. And when, when, you're, when, you're, um, when you're fastening these together, you can do a check, right? You can hit the laser, right? You can laser it and, and make sure. Like, when you're doing a big ceiling, you want to do that, right? Uh, you, you want to make sure you have a laser on it. To, to check the the middle right to make sure nothing's humping right you can just you can just suck it up with the with the brace if so okay how do I find the height of the ceiling okay so the the height of the ceiling is going to be determined on by um, the the drawings okay you're they're gonna have it's gonna have you're gonna have a reflective ceiling plan so the height of, like elevations is, is uh, is like your 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 elevation okay so from <laughs> grade to uh to the bottom to finish of your of your ceiling or soffit right now when you're say you're doing a soffit outside of a building okay and grade isn't there yet right because you got you got you're just still base there right um you 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 can then uh, find your elevations on the details basically you're gonna find out what structure you need to go to right it there will be a detail Okay, if you have any questions at all, be sure to leave them down below in the comments because I get back to absolutely everybody. Watch out for the second part of this video, okay? I had to split it into two parts. The next video, I'll be going into more of the drawings and the details in, the, in, in Adobe Acrobat. And if you like these videos, be sure to give them a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This is Chris, and I'm going to see you in the next video, guys.